guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we have something kind of exciting. We are installing our solar. Uh, you can hear Blue in the background. He is putting the little brackets on the panel. And then we're gonna be working our way up to the roof of the bus where we're gonna be laying them down and installing them. Um, I'm not a huge fan of heights, so I'm not going to be up there for too long, but I'll try to get you what little bit of footage I can. Also, there is a thunderstorm rolling on in, uh, and we're trying to beat that because it looks like there's thunderstorms in the forecast for like the next week or so. So, trying to beat that, get a jump start. Yeah, alright, well, let's go. As you can see, my, uh, paint job isn't really <laughs> holding up too well, but nah, oh well. Let's put in silicone on to seal it, plus using these screws with a built-in rubber washer for extra water insurance. <laughs> Well, Blue got the, the panels attached to the roof here and no rain so far, so that's amazing. And look at that, blue skies as far as you can see. So um, yeah, we were lucky enough to not have rain. Um, we have the, the panels hooked up together in pairs of two. So they're, they're ran in series and then we have all of them ran in parallel just like you would do with the, the battery bank setup. Um, also, just a little bit about our solar setup. We bought it in like a kit on Amazon. It came with everything we needed except for the batteries. So if that's something you're interested in, I can link that below and you can check it out. Um, it's a pretty easy setup once you kind of, you know, get the hang of what you're doing. Ours uh, didn't come with instructions. It came with page one of multiple pages. So yeah. I guess I'll take you down and I'll show you what components it came with and how we plan on setting it up. Alright, so what we did for you guys is we set up all of our solar components um, and laid them out nicely on the table so that you can see exactly step by step how we set this up. Um, we're not actually going to be showing us installing it inside the bus and the reason for that is the lighting is terrible. There's not a lot of room and it would be really hard to give you a clear picture of what's going on. So we decided to do it this way instead. Um, so to get started, up on the roof, we have our solar panels attached. We have our wires running down. And by the way, we have six 150 watt panels on the roof. So we have about 900 watts of solar up there. Um, so like I said, we have these wires and those run over here to the combiner box. Um, this came with the kit. In the combiner box, this was already wired like that. It came exactly how it looks. Um, there's a shutoff switch here. Um, yeah, so that was kind of nice, pretty easy. We have our wires running from here to the charge controller. Um, there's not a whole lot of sun right now, but as you can see, it's, I think it's working. And then from our charge controller, we go to our battery bank. Uh, what we did is we got six deep cell marine batteries. They're 12 volts a piece, and we hooked those up in series to create 24 volt batteries. So basically, we have three 24 volt batteries, and then those are ran in parallel. So, um... Let's take a closer look. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so as you can see, we have the battery set up so that we have all the positive posts on the left, and then we have it set up so that all the negative posts are to the right. And down the middle, we have them hooked up, you know, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. This is what would be considered um, hooked up in series. Now, we have all the positives ran together, 
and all the negative ran together and that's considered parallel. So like I said before, we have three 24 volt batteries ran in parallel. All right, from our battery bank, we have the wires running to our inverter. This inverter came with the kit as well. As you can see, it is 1500 watt power inverter. From there, we ended up having to buy this. It's a standard plug, which we have wired and running to our standard outlet. Um, as you can see, we have something plugged in here, which is our TV, and it is on, which means this whole setup is working. All right, well, that was basically our entire solar setup, um, but the sun is going down now, and, well, the rain never came. Not even so much as a sprinkle, so that's awesome. And it really wasn't that bad, was it? No, it turns out it was a lot easier than we anticipated. It was just a lot of, uh, you know, common sense stuff, and I guess easier done than said. Yeah. Uh, it was fairly simple. Yeah, so if this seems like something that uh, you want to do or this is the kind of setup that you want, like I said, I'll have that link below. You can check it out. Um, but we'll check you later because it's time to go. <laughs> so have fun. Make memories. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.